Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper 1. Here we're looking at question 11. Circle C1 has equation x squared plus y squared equals 100, so radius 10. Circle C2 has equation x minus 15 squared plus y squared equals 40. The circles meet at point A and B. Show that the angle AOB equals 0.635 radians to three significant figures. So what we've got here is this length from here to here is length 10. This length from here to the centre of this circle here is going to be um, root 40. And then the length from this side to this side here, given that the centre of the point of circle C1 is 0 and the centre of circle C2 is 15, this length here will be 15. So um, what we're looking to work out here is the angle AOB, so that would be this angle down the bottom here, so this angle in total is 0.635 radians to three significant figures. Well, I think what I'll do first is I'll work out the angle on top and then double it afterwards. So it's going to be um, x equals, so no, we're not going to start with x equals r, we're going to use the cosine rule here, so it's going to be a squared plus b squared minus so, no, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Or in fact, we could use the other one, couldn't we? We could use cos x equals, so it's going to be b squared plus c squared, which would be 10 and 15. 10 squared plus 15 squared minus a squared, which will be 40, because root 40 squared is just 40. And then divide by 2 times b times c. So therefore, cos of x equals, let's do this all on the calculator now, I beg my pardon, I'll type away now, 10 squared plus 15 squared minus 40 over 2 times 10 times 15 equals 19 over 20. So therefore, x is going to be cos inverse of this answer, which will be 0 0.3. 1756 so therefore angle AOB will be two lots of this angle 0.31756 so two times answer on my calculator now is going to be 0.635 so there we are that's the answer to three significant figures moving now on to part B, the region shown in figure 3 is bounded by C1 and C2. Find the perimeter of the region, giving your answer to one decimal place. So, what I now know is that this is going to be the, the radius, it's going to be the um, circumference of the circle, but not this bit here. So, that's going to be, um, it's, we're going to involve the formula arc length, equals r theta. That's the formula we're going to use here. We have the majority of the arc, but just not this 0 0.635 um, angle here. So the arc of C1, so C1 is going to be the radius, which is 10, times the arc length, so, so times the angle, which is going to be 2 pi minus 0 0.635. OK, let's just type that into my calculator. So it's going to be 10 times 2 pi minus um, 0 0.635, which is going to give us 56.48 equals 56.48. And then C2 is going to be very similar, but the radius here is going to be root 40 this time. And it's going to be 2 pi minus the same angle. Will it be the same angle? No, not potentially. Um, we'll have to work out what this angle here is. Okay, so it's not going to be the same angle as 0 0.635. We'll need to work out what this angle inside here is. So the best way of doing that would be probably to work out the length of the line from A to B. And in fact, we'll just work out A to the x-axis. So what we've got here is a little triangle with a hypotenuse of 10, an angle of this value here of 0 0.371. 
31756, and we need to work out the opposite side. So that's going to be sine. So it's going to be, let's get, get that angle back again. So cos inverse 19 over 20 to give us this exact value. And then it's going to be 10 times sine of answer, 10 sine answer. And that's going to be 3.122 on that side there. So therefore the whole, therefore we could work out now what the angle is inside here, because that would be the same length on this side here. If we now look at it from the triangle C2, we've got a side of root 40. So let's do a bit of Pythagoras, so not Pythagoras, but inverse sine to work out what this angle here is. We won't call it X, we'll call it Y. So it's going to be inverse sine of fraction button. The answer that we've just got in our calculator, which is 3.122, over root 40 and that gives us 0 0.516 but then if we double it to get the full angle then it's going to give us uh, the angle which is double it which is 1.033 1.033 roughly so it's now going to be 2 pi minus this 1.033 value coming back to the arc length of C2 so it's going to be 2 pi minus this answer, which is now, and then we times it by root 40, times root 40, which gives us 33.2. So therefore, finally, we get to the point where we're working out the perimeter now. 50, so 33.21 is effectively there. So we'll add the answer to 56.48. And it gives us 89.7, 89.7, uh, and there's no units on this question here, so just 89.7 is the answer for that parameter there. Right, that was really not much of a uh, equations of circles problem, but more of an arc length problem and uh, some sine, cosine, cosine rule problems here. So there we are, that's the answer for question 11, that's worth 8 marks. Let's now move on to question 12.